Almost ready? Yep. You got the presents, right? You okay? We've all been there. It's late December and you realize you don't have any gifts. Well, here are three simple and quick gifts you can make on the lathe just in time for that Christmas party. All right, guys, let's dive right in. Today we're gonna be making a pen, a shaving set with a razor stand and a brush, and a single cigar travel humidor. I'm really excited about all three of these projects. The first thing we need to do is take our lumber and mill up our boards. Now these builds are gonna happen kind of out of order, but in a way that hopefully makes sense. You'll see that the humidor, the razor, the shaving stand, and the pen are all built in a very similar fashion. The hardware kits will dictate the size of your blank. Once you have those cut, you can mark the center of your blank by drawing a line from each opposing corner. The cigar blank is drilled out with a one and one sixteenth inch Forstner bit, and everything else is drilled out with a seven millimeter bit. The hardware for the humidor cannot be installed with CA glue. You have to use epoxy. I sanded everything flush with the ends of the tubes and set those aside. The brass tubes for the pin, the shaving stand, and the razor can get sanded with 220 grit to scuff up the surface and CA glued into their respective blanks. You can then trim the ends flush with either a barrel trimmer or a sander. And for anything that's gonna be near water, like the razor kit, I took some thin CA glue and I sealed the end grain so water can't creep in. And before we move on, let me introduce you to Bull, Brandon, and Greg. These are who these gifts are built for, and let me tell you why these are special. Back in 2018, I built my first big woodworking project. I milled my boards at a local maker space and built the table in my garage. Now it's a big family dining table and I used the offcuts to start making gifts like these as a connection to my family. At this point, I got my first blank from the lathe and got ready to turn. Now you'll see that I use carbide tools for turning. And this is great for me as someone who doesn't use the lathe day in and day out. I don't have to worry about sharpening and they're quick and easy. The first thing I do is get the blank down to a cylindrical shape. And then from there, I can start working on getting it down to the size of my bushings. Take your time and don't try to take off too much material too fast. Once I get close to my bushings, I go ahead and sand with 80 grit sandpaper. First with the lathe on, and then with the lathe off to get rid of any radial scratches. From there, I sand with 120 to 600 to get everything to a final shape and clean with denatured alcohol. And before we get on to our CA finish, be sure your workspace is really clean. The last thing you want to do is get debris and wood shavings in your finish. My first coat is with the lathe off and it's thin CA glue followed by an activator. Then with the lathe on, I do 10 coats with medium CA glue with an activator between every coat. Finally, I finish off with a thin CA glue and an activator and let it sit for about five minutes. After this, I'll sand with 400 and 600 grit sandpaper to be sure my finish is nice and even. And when you sand, you want it to be a complete matte finish with no shiny spots. The shiny spots are the low spots and you want to be sure your finish is completely smooth. After the 600 grit, I move on to a 1500 grit micro mesh and sand all the way through 12,000 grit micro mesh. And be sure to sand with the lathe off between every grit. This gets rid of any radial scratches. At this point, I use a Meguiar's plastic polish to polish everything to a nice reflective shine. Now I can assemble my razor and my razor stand. These are parts that just screw in. Super simple. Next I can assemble my cigar humidor. All the parts get epoxied together and I just used a five minute epoxy so this would set relatively quickly. And I used some painter's tape with some markings to help me find my grain alignment so I'm not searching for it as my epoxy is setting. 
I went ahead and put the whole assembly in a clamp and let it cure for an hour, making any final adjustments before I walked away. Next, we'll assemble our pin. You can buy a pin press or purchase these attachments that turn your lathe into a pin press. Once you get your piece lined up, you want to make sure it's straight and go slowly so you don't crack your blank or crack your finish. When installing the turning mechanism, line up the indentation on the mechanism with the blank. And before you continue assembling your pin, get the cartridge and be sure the pin works properly and make adjustments from there. Now you can finish assembling your pin and you're all done. Now we're going to turn the razor brush handle. And this is a completely different process. First, you'll drill and tap a hole in accordance with the turning kit that you have. Then you'll go ahead and thread your blank onto a mandrel on your lathe. I actually made my own mandrel out of some thread, nuts, and washers. Now we can start turning. And once you get to a cylindrical shape, you can use this step technique to start getting the taper that you want. Once you have these steps in, you can begin blending them together to get a smooth taper. The only important measurement here is to be sure that the bottom of the handle matches up with the size of the brush. In this case, it was one inch. I went ahead and did a rough assembly and made adjustments for what felt natural in my hand and looked good. I continued shaping with 80 grit sandpaper and my belt sander. The finishing process is the same. Sand all the way to 600 grit and begin applying your CA finish, also sealing the end since this may be near water in a bathroom. I did my first coat of thin CA with the lathe off and then did my 10 coats of medium followed by my one coat of thin with the lathe on. Getting the transition perfect from the side of the handle to the back of the handle takes some time and a lot of sanding to get right. When making something on the lathe, spending time sanding and smoothing things out is one of the best things you can do to make sure you end up with a great final product. Once completely finished, I used the Meguiar's plastic polish to polish the handle and got ready for final assembly. Now before I show you how everything turned out, I want to leave you with this quote that my friend Greg told me. There are no mistakes when working on a lathe, only design changes. And I think this is really important to keep in mind, because even when you think you've messed up or you've made a mistake, work with it. Be creative and always challenge yourself to work with the situation you've been given.